Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk mainly about uh, drug addiction and alcoholism. Um, hoping that this will help somebody or, you know, possibly even save their lives. Um, my name is Julie and I am an alcoholic. And uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, what we do when there's a new person or like what the new person is supposed to do. So like we're... I'm um, going to tell them some advice and success suggestions um, when they come in. And one of the first ones is to get a sponsor. Um, a sponsor is somebody that guides you through the, the steps and also is just there as a, like a listening ear. And um, you call them every day in the beginning. And um, it doesn't have to be like a long conversation. It just be like, hey... You know, I'm doing good today, I'm sober, and, you know, uh, you know, a couple of things like that, and then you hang up. Um, it's mainly for, you know, getting comfortable talking to this person. So if something does happen, like something bad happens, or, you know, something that you really need to talk about, you'll feel comfortable reaching out to this person. Um, the second thing is a home group. And a home group's purpose is to get people to know you and you get to know them um so when you go to your home group you know you reach out ask for phone numbers that's a big one um in the beginning um so that you can call people when if you're feeling like drinking or feeling any kind of way uh you can call people if you can't get a hold of your sponsor you could go down the list and call other people um the goal is to um, make like a, a support network so like a network of people that you can call um, anytime you know during the day or whatever um, the third thing that I think is very important is changing people places and things okay what that means is the old people places you used to hang out with and things you used to do while you were drinking you can't do those things anymore if you want to stay sober um, I know I have a friend that he still hangs around with like the people he used to drink with and there's an old saying if you um, hang out at the barber long enough you're bound to get a haircut and it just means that you know if you're at a bar or you're hanging out with drunk friends it's only a matter of time before you pick up a drink yourself. Um, this is a very difficult disease. Um, it's very cunning, baffling, powerful. It's very, very powerful. Um, so hanging around people that are still drinking or going to bars or, you know, doing things that you used to do while drinking, that's just like, it's playing with fire, really. Um, this thing is so powerful as it is so if you do those things you're you're bound to to drink um also i have this meeting in a pocket thing as you can see i can't live without it i love this thing it has all the it it has like the readings how it works the 12 steps the 12 traditions you know all the stuff that we read in a meeting the promises um, a vision for you and then my favorite part of this is the big book guide I don't know if you could see this but it's um it has all these like subjects here and then the page numbers that correspond to what you're looking for so for example step one You'll find it on page 9, 25, 30, 59, 92, 154, and 157. So, that's um, another thing. When we're new, we're going to start doing step one. Um, there are some people, some school of thought that say not to do the steps for a while. Like, you get acquainted with the meetings and that sort of thing. But I've always been taught the opposite. Um... You know, if you're in a burning building, you're going to want to get out as fast as possible. And, you know, if you're dying from alcoholism, doing the steps is imperative. Um, so anyway, this thing, this meaning in a pocket on one of the pages, it says, this is very easy. It just says to stay sober, don't drink, 
go to meetings, read the big book, get a sponsor, work the steps, and help another alcoholic. So those are the six things that you need to do to stay sober. It's very simple. This is a simple program for complicated people. It is very simple. It's not easy, but it's simple. Um, and then one of the other things we have to have to stay sober is gratitude. Like thank, We're going to thank our higher power at night for keeping us sober. And in the morning, we're going to ask him to keep us sober. So, and, uh, oh, another thing is to pray daily. And praying doesn't have to be a big deal. Like in the beginning, you a prayer can just be like, God, help me. Um, there's also some prayers in this little booklet. Um, like the morning prayer. This is a nice little prayer um, for the morning. It says, God, please direct my thinking and keep my thoughts divorced from self-pity, dishonest, or self-seeking motives. Please keep my thought life clear from wrong motives and help me employ my mental faculties that my thought life might be placed on a higher plane, the plane of inspiration. Amen. I don't know about you guys, but my default thinking is always negative. It's always um, dishonest and self-seeking motives. Like I am a self-seeker. I uh, self-centered and want things to go my way. Um, so this prayer actually asks God to remove those things from us. We have to remove the self-will. Um, that's one of the biggest things that kills us as an alcoholic is selfishness. Um, selfishness and self-centeredness. Um, there's another prayer on here that I really like. It's called the third step prayer. And it just says, God, I offer myself to thee to build with me and do with me as thou wilt. Relieve me of the bondage of self, that I may better do thy will. Take away my difficulties, that victory over them may bear witness to those I would help of thy power, thy love, and thy way of life. May I do thy will always. Amen. Now, I understand that that is some old, old school writing. Um, a simpler way to say the prayer is just, God, guide me in my recovery. Show me how to live. Amen. Like, that's real a real simple version of it um so anyways just to sum up um when we have new people or we are the new person we want to tell them to get a sponsor get a home group change people places and things and tell them to do this these six things that i can never remember on the top of my head don't drink, go to meetings, read the big book, get a sponsor, work the steps, and help another alcoholic. All right, I'll see you next time. Thank you.